Yeah, he's a good bodybuilder. You're talking about Lee Priest. Yeah, we're talking about <laughs> Lee Priest. Well, when I was hooked from then, just having the crowd applause and the lights and everything else. 
But the one thing that we all go through, and it's the rigorous dieting, the consistent training, sometimes it's hard for motivation. I think the hardest part, if you'd ask myself or Ronnie, would be the nutrition factor, meaning how much food we had to eat as we got bigger, and then of course those hungry nights where you had to sacrifice. I mean, two hours of cardio a day a lot of times, no matter where we were traveling to. Um, obviously, once we got more successful, we had the ability to restrict the travel. Uh, but the result was there, and I think that once you get the notoriety and you're on a level, the expectations and your visibility gets a little easier to go through that day and day rotation. I'll tell you one thing, I don't miss the stage as much now because I'm able to enjoy this side of it, you know, having the fan response and really giving motivation. You never imagine when you start training at 18, coming from a super small town, I know you can think the same thing, we never thought we would be that good. I mean, I never thought I would be Mr. Olympia. I know some people say I had this vision board and I knew I was going to get there. No way, I never thought I could be the next after Doreen Yates and watching, you know, Lee Haney and then of course this guy. Uh, I never thought I had that ability until I actually stood next to him. I was second for the first time and that's the first time I realized I could actually win this thing. Unfortunately, I had to battle him to get to that point. And then as many of you know, I, came, I lost the title to Dexter Jackson, same thing. I never thought that little guy would beat me. No disrespect to Dexter. And then of course I won it back, was able to win two more, and then Phil Heath came behind me, won seven, and obviously that's motivation for everyone. But I still train with the passion because I love it, but it's, it's at leisure now, and it's, for, it's recreational.